All right, everybody. Happy Easter. Haley. Haley. And I'm Ben Carson, my wife Candy Carson, and our beautiful granddaughter, Tesora Carson. And we're going to be reading today The Grouchy Ladybug. At least I was going to read it, but my wife just <laughs> took it away. But I'm giving it back. Here it is. And there are those who say that I can't be grouchy because I'm not by nature a grouchy person. But today I'll be grouchy just a little bit. Okay. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. I saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Aphids are little, little, tiny insects that crawl around on leaves and eat them. And uh, they're not very nice, but ladybugs like to eat them. Anyway, good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, what's that? They're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough to fight me, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew away. And here's the picture so you can see. Do you remember these? The grouchy ladybug and the sweet ladybug? Well, let's see what happened next. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug met a yellow jacket. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Look at the difference between the ladybug and the yellow jacket. Yeah, I have really good eyes to see that. Yeah, but you can see the difference. There's a little spot here and then there's something big down here. Is this a smart ladybug? Maybe not. Anyway, you know what she said? You're not big enough. An hour later, it's seven o'clock, and it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy lady, but wanna fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough. And she flew away again. It's eight o'clock, and you know what it came across? A praying mantis. See how big it is? Hey, you, said the grouchy lady, but Wanna fight? Oh, if you insist, said the praying man is opening it. Huge claws. Of course, the ladybug said, Oh, you're not big enough. And she flew away again. Now it's nine o'clock, and it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? And the sparrow said, Well, if you insist, and it was showing its sharp beak. The ladybug say, nah, you're not big enough, so flew away again. At 10 o'clock now, it sees a lobster. Look at this thing. Is that huge? Yeah. Hey, you said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? And you know what the lobster said? If you insist, Somebody needs huge, audio. huge claws. I can't move. Would you wanna fight this guy? No, I wouldn't either. Well, the grouchy lady, of course, she said, and you're not. Yeah, flew away again. Let's see what happened next. Oh, boy. There's nothing you I know what this is? Audience. You know what this is? Yeah. What's that? Would you even go close to one of these? It. No, I wouldn't either, because what do they do? And you can't get it off its top, right? So, this silly, I think she's silly, ladybug, says, hey, you. Want to fight? We start to question the intelligence of this bubble. It's not really smart. Okay. 
you want to fight. And you know what this guy said? Oh, if you insist. And of course, the ladybug said, oh, you're not. Yeah, so he flew away again. Oh my gosh. Here it is, 12 noon. It's by a boa constraint. Hey, you said the grouchy lady, but want to fight? Again. What do you think of the elephant? Look at it! He is huge! Okay. Hey, you want to fight? Said the silly lady, but hey, you can't fight. That's the thing And you know what? The ladybug says, oh, you're not. Yep, and it flew away again. Well, at one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? And you know, they, the, the laughing hyena laughed really says, well, if you insist that, 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 showing the sharp teeth. Well, you know what the ladybug says. Oh, you're not. Yep. And flew away again. Woo! Did you tell me? What's that? It's a gorilla. Now, as big as we are, we're bigger than ladybugs, right? We w would you want to fight a gorilla? No. But this ladybug, ah, hey, you want to fight? The gorilla said, if you insist, he starts beating on his chest. And of course, the ladybug says, well, you're not. Silly ladybug. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, who knows what this is? Yes, big rhino. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? And ladybug, I mean, I mean, and the rhino said, well, if you insist, and he lowered this is it on? Wow. Well, you know what the graduate lady is. Are you saying? Oh, you're not. Yeah, here we go again. So, at 4 o'clock, they encountered an elephant. Okay, now here's, can you see this little ladybug right here? See that little thing, that little dot? You see it next to this elephant? Yeah. Okay. Well, of course, the ladybug's going to say it again. Hey, you want to fight? And the elephant says, well, if you insist. And he raised his trunk and showed his tusks. And the grouchy lady, but do you think maybe by this time is thinking, maybe I really don't want to do this? <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to tell with the silly ladybug. Anyway, you know what the ladybug responded? Oh, you're not. And flew away again. OK, well, 5 o'clock. A whole day just about has gone by. It's 5 p.m. Wow. And it met a whale. Now you see the a ladybug. Blue whale, the biggest creature on earth. Yeah. Oh, okay. Any kind of whale is big to me. Okay, but anyway, you see this little dot right here. This little dot right here. That's the ladybug. You see that? And you see where the ladybug is? It's in front of the whale's nose. Okay? So is the whale gonna hear it? Probably not. Let's see what happens. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But you know, the whale didn't answer at all. So the ladybug said, well, you're not big enough anyway. He flew away, and it took her 15 minutes to get to one of the whale's flippers, OK? 15 minutes now of flying to get to the flippers. And he says, hey, you, want to fight? Do you think that flipper answered the ladybug? No, no it didn't. But you know, that ladybug is persistent, if nothing else. And he says, you want to fight? And of course, it didn't answer. So it flies on again, because it's not big enough. 15 minutes later, it's 5.30, and the grouchy lady gets to the dorsal fin. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? Is this fin going to answer? No. No, because it doesn't have ears, it doesn't have a mouth, and so on and so forth. And the grouchy ladybug didn't hear anything. He says, you're not big enough anyway. So he flies another 15 minutes. Let's see. Now, it's a quarter to six. And the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, he's been on this whale for like 45 minutes. 
Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? Well, the tail didn't answer, but you know what happened? It twitched, and the tail went whoop, and it hit the ladybug so hard, just smacked it all the way back around, across the ocean, across the land, and you know what? <laughs> At 6 o'clock, the grouchy ladybug, and that's what you call an expeditious return, arrived right back where it started from. It took a fast trip, right? It probably hurt, but it took a fast trip. Ah, uh, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There's still some aphids left, and you can have them for dinner. And you know what the wet, tired, hungry, grouchy ladybug said? Oh, thank you. Thank you. And you know, the other one said, you're welcome. And as the story ends, all the aphids were soon gone. The leaf said, thank you. Because the aphids, you know, eat leaves and probably hurts. You're welcome, answered the ladybugs. And they went to sleep. And the fireflies who'd been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. So was it smart to be grouchy? Because no. I mean, think about it. What would have happened if that ladybug hadn't been grouchy? Any answers? What? Yeah, they would have shared. And what else? That's a good one. Yes. Yeah. Very good. He wouldn't have gone through all of that stuff, all that trouble to just get to eat what he did at the end. So and is it better to be grouchy? Lot. We can learn a lot from that too, right? Learn how to work together and to be nice to people rather than running around calling people name and being grouchy to them. <laughs> and you young people can teach the adults how to do that. We like that, okay? Yeah, we need you to <laughs> okay. do it. Thank you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being such a great audience. <laughs>